Hello, everyone. Patrick Redding, Jamie Faxton, Line Cook Door, John C. John C., I love Man Bat. He is terribly, terribly cute. Uh, Misty Jazierski, Enigma, Stanley S., Sean Davies, Jeremiah Dempsey, Nate Slanker, Michael J. Lassiter, Michelle Schulte, Rob O'Brien. That's right. Moss will not grow on me. I got stuff to do. Lord help me. Lindy Vito. Hi, Creeper. South Omaha Horror. Hello. Michael, Rachel Powell, Rodney Pope, HBK. Botox Rocks. Hello. Lanny Williams. Monster Camp 7. Monster Camp 7. Finished about an hour and a half ago. Uh, Terry Kitchen, Line Cook Thor, hello again. Uh, he says hi, Shannon. Barry Flanagan, hello. Rodolfo Ordonez? Or Ordonez. Rodolfo Ordonez? Right. Warmonger Arts, Milton Knowles, the Insane Witch King. There you go. And I see his comment. I'm just going to answer it. How do I go about making a cheeseburger mask? I would say bun, burger, cheese, bun, because I don't do vegetables. All right. And uh, Scott Colhart has joined us. And Batbeard. Hello, Batbeard. Linda <laughs> Forbes. All right. I'm handing over comments now to the wife. So, yes. Handing over comments to the wife. Um... And I am doing a Halloween grave digger. And something kind of flipped in my head. And I know exactly how I want this. Um, now, um, this is going to Scott Colhart. And I think that he will like this. But I will always give him an option. I'll give anybody an option, you know. Uh, I want to make sure that it... It's going to be interesting, and I am happy, because I have a plan. <laughs> what are folks saying? White. They're just saying, hey, wife. Hashtag, hey, wife. Michelle Schulte. Hope all the creepers have a good night. Shannon and Alan, you have got to be worn out. What a great weekend. Uh, you know what? Monster Camp is always... It, it wears you out. That's absolutely true. But also, um, it's energizing because there's a creative energy that happens, that shows up when people kind of do something for the first time, and they're so happy with themselves, and they're so proud of themselves, and they ought to be because they work their butts off. So that's thrilling. We're going to do something a little weird with this guy. Faux show. This is, is this Halloween week, right? This is Halloween week coming up. Halloween is a week from yesterday. It is a week from yesterday. What a year. Yes, it is Halloween. How crazy. Okay. Everybody's saying hello, hello, lady in bed, they're both on, and Scott <laughs> Okay. P.J. Moore, what are the doggos' names? This is only my second live. Okay, so the dogs' names, we have Bella, Boris, and Chaney. And here, here is how this works. All right, Chaney is the brown one, named after Lon Chaney. Bella, you can see her booty right here. Uh, Bella is named after Bella Lugosi. She is a girl dog. And that is Boris, of course, after Boris Karloff. Bella, Boris, and Chaney are three awesome hounds. They are almost a year old. And they're the size of horses. 
Body Geek says dinner wasn't as good as lunch. Lunch was fabulous. Well, <laughs> Thank you, Body Geeks. That, that does happen. I'll Thank feel. you, sir. Very sweet. Very sweet. I appreciate that. I should have sent you guys home with more leftovers. Joyce must. Masters, I hope I said that right. Joyce, if I did not, I apologize. It says, hi, I'm new here, loving it. Hi. Welcome, thanks for joining us. Yeah, right now you're watching, I wasn't playing, I didn't know I was going live, so I wasn't like as prepared as normal. So I'm going to have to grab a charge recorder from a battery. Hefty, hefty, hefty. So you know, yeah, that's a big dragon. Yeah, definitely dragons. Ormonder says, Jonesy is slightly more important than the hounds. That's what Jonesy told me. Like, Jonesy is important. He Warmonger. will say such things. He will say that. Mike's Haunted Woodworks. Hey, Mike, happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. He says, oh my God, that spider woman was spectacular. Was she not? Yeah, she killed it. Alien queen, gorgeous. Alien Queen Gorgeous. Really, really, really That's a whole new classification. Guys. Yeah, yeah. So it's, it, yeah, that was, Michael it's always here. rewarding to do Monster Michael Camp. says, I gotta do some guest acting tonight at American Horror Place here in Louisville. Had a blast, and I'm very sorry. Mike, that's great. It's okay, it's okay. Yes, guest. It's okay. Mike, that is so awesome that you got to do that. Good deal. Mike Murphy, hello. He says, hello, makers of monsters. Go talk to rocks. I love the dark crystal mess. Yeah, Skeksy. Yeah, we were calling that the sexy Skeksy. Skeksy. Rob Bryan says the dragon is gorgeous. Go talk to rocks. Wants to see the spider woman in action. Ron Schweppes, hello. So sorry I'm late. What are you doing tonight? Everyone's mask looks so awesome. Thank you. Uh, we are working on um, some, well, I'm working on a Halloween gravedigger. And how I'm going to go about this is a little different crazy. Top Web says, can I get a foam-filled pool of Scott's mask? That's, that's, you're going to have to talk to Scott. He took the mold with him. Yeah, we'll have to figure that out. you got to talk to Scott. Uh, Cobwebs, Scott is on, and Scott is in town, but Scott took the mold with yeah, him. Yeah, yeah, he'll be, he's got his own mold. We don't have it. He took it, he didn't even look back. Mike's on the works. I would definitely love a pull from 
that Skeksis model. Um, Mike, uh, actually, the creator of the Skeksis model lives in Arlington. So that is... Can I move you a little closer if you don't have to yell? That is possible. They take them with them. They they own those molds. They it's part of the class. When they when they take the class, they get the mold. Cobweb says the Skexis was awesome. Warmonger, Alan, what's the smallest resin bust on the shelf behind the great digger man? This is an anatomy reference bust. This is muscles of the face. And it's just good for sculpting. Yeah, when you do Monster Camp, you get, um, when you do Monster Camp, you get the mask that you make, you keep your mold, you get a sculpting bust, you get sculpting tools, you get uh, an apron. So you have everything you need to go and make masks on your own. So probably try to get into there a physical bond too, like zip ties or something. I don't always trust glue. Those two foams don't really want to play too well together. So uh, contact cement used correctly is your best bet, along with some sort of physical connector, a la zip ties. Okay. Rodney Pope says Alexis loved the female mask. I thought of Alexis Rodney yeah. because she's the she made a, she also made a very feminine, elegant, creepy mask, and I thought of Alexis. I'm, I'm glad she got to see it. Uh, let's see, Tyler Blitzen, who also who just gave us a dollar, says I love your channel. It has helped me be more creative in my art. That's I love Tyler. that. That's from Tyler. That's awesome. Skin and bones, thank you. Five dollars for skin and bones. Holy moly, thank you so much. Enigma, hi. So I'm getting a little better with wins with wed. Thanks for the advice on it. No problem. Uh, I love wet clay. It's faster, and that's why I like it. Rodolfo Ordens or Dens or Dens. Rodolfo, I hope I said that right. We're trying or Ordenes. Ordens. I'm sorry, sir, if I said that wrong. Yeah. Uh, is Monster Camp recorded, and can I go back and watch it? I would love to see it. No, we don't record all of Monster Camp because they pay for the class, and I don't want to, uh, you know, they they pay to be here, so I don't necessarily want to give that away to everybody. So. Enigma, do you remember where you bought that head? The veins on it were awesome. Uh, yes, I got it from China. I got it from AliExpress. It wasn't that expensive. It was probably 15 bucks after shipping, but 
It, it, of course, it takes forever to get here. Hey, Celeste Kitty. Glad you got your tags. Glad you got your tags. Hope you were able to put out some great pumpkins. Happy pumpkin. <laughs> when I do Monster Camp, I will leave my bowl and you with you to use it in exchange for store credits when you use it. That is one enterprising woman. <laughs> Who is that? Celeste Kitty. I see. I see. Hey, she's she's got a plan. She has got a plan. That's a great idea. Cobwebs. I have yet to touch wet clay. I've only used Sculpey and Magic Sculpey. Okay. I mean, those are, those are both plays, you know. Um, yeah. Leaf Robinson says he heard a fart. Uh, I don't think that you heard a fart. <laughs> um, and I can tell you that you didn't hear a fart because um, I don't, I don't like, I'm not a, I'm not a farter. Like I don't fart in front of people. <laughs> That's not something that I do. I've always thought it was kind of weird and gross. Um, I don't, uh, aside from maybe when I was sleeping or if someone jumped on my stomach, my wife hasn't really heard me fart in uh, 16 years of marriage. So yeah, no. Probably heard a bottle. That's not something I do. My uh, my internal noises are for me. Thank you, Del Sabreas, five dollars. This is great channel. Awesome. Thank you for all of your tips and tricks. Hello, Field Walker Masks from Scotland. Hello, Field Walker Masks. We're trained now. We say from Scotland. From Scotland. Well, we kind of get to know where everybody is. I'm oh. out of some ink that I want right now. said must be dogs. It could have been. Uh, yeah, they're not much of audible farters, but uh, it also could have been something that I moved dragging across the floor. Or, 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 it wasn't, but this is an excuse. Could have been this. Thank you. Why are we thanking? Oh, 
very nice thing for everybody to say. Rodney says, Beth Williams, if you ever sell any, I'd love to buy for my daughter Alexis copy of my ass. Uh, yeah, David, uh, check your email. I wrote you last night regarding Monster Camp. I sent you an email. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask me. Luke has to know. Good evening, guys. Keeping the videos coming. Hope there will be a trans world next March. We do too. I do too. They're, they're planning on it. We will certainly plan to be there. Let's see. Oh, I'm sorry with notifications. <laughs> Joanna Crowley. Hey, Joanna. Everyone at Monster Camp did a fantastic job. Terry Kitchen, do you guys have a Twitter account? Uh, no. We don't really Twitter at this point in time. Facebook and Instagram are all people yeah. Trav's Garden and Trav's Haunted Yard. Alan, awesome job on the Calibos mask. Fantastic sculpting and paint job. Will it be on the website? Yes. I have to get a hold of my webmaster and make sure that they're uh, on board. But yes. Boy, this Tom bottle is getting trouble. Hey, is this, is this not Beastman costume week for you, Alan? Uh, that was my hope. And, uh, and I'm going to try to get on that Beastman costume this week. I have a couple orders in the evenings. Nick says, I sent you a Facebook message. Can you check your message request when you get a chance? Who, is, that, is that to me? Enigma, yes, to you. I think, I, I think me and Enigma are friends. So let's kitty. We are driving from Jacksonville to... Kalitka place two pumpkins this week that we found great creepy spots where there is a cook, where there is a cookout Saturday. Celeste, be sure to wait if you post it, please be sure to make it accessible and put on um, the hashtags because that, that would be amazing to see. I would love to see what you do. Greatly handsome, Calabos turned out really good. Awesome. So I had a ton of those. Those mask as well. It, it's pretty. It's a pretty simple mask, but uh, it's kind of. It's at Monster Camp. I need to do something that is going to uh, let me teach a few lessons. Um, but it's not my goal to produce like the best mask. You know, I mean that. That's not my goal. My goal is to produce a useful mask for me. But I can also teach a few lessons with it. And, uh, you know, have some fun. Okay, here we go. Larry Hughes. Hi, Larry. Do you Larry? Hobson's family? We are on weekend on Krampus as we watch the live feed. Hey, Larry. Good to hear from you. Uh, guys, I agree. Instagram, uh, there's a conversation here about Instagram. Instagram is so different from Facebook, and it is difficult to find the, uh, to get notifications. It is, it is a different animal. I agree. I'm struggling with it too, so I'm trying, to, I'm trying to juggle both. We have not engaged Twitter simply because Facebook. We have trouble keeping up as it Facebook is. Facebook, Instagram, know. email, and website. Yeah, it's a lot. We'll get you guys, I promise. Head static. Hi. I need to find masks for people who wear glasses. Suggestions. Contact would be ideal in this situation, but that isn't an option. No. Okay, so look up an item called Mask R Aid. Mask R Aid. They have masquerades, which are foam inserts that go over your glasses and they hook up to the eyes of the mask and they're actually really wonderful. So that's what I recommend. Hey Rodolfo. Rodolfo would like to know how long is your monster camp and where are y'all located? Monster camp is three days. We're in Dallas, Texas. Uh, we're in the Dallas, Texas area, I should say, about an hour from Dallas. And uh, monster camp is three days long. And in that time, uh, 
we sculpt on Friday, we mold on Saturday, we pour it up, and then on Sunday we paint and we make the finished masks. Rodney Pope says, did the I Survive Monster Camp t-shirt ever get put on the Teespring website? Not yet. Let me Not tell, yet. Tell Rodney how tired everybody was set of Friday. Oh, they were they were all whooped. They were they needed a survival for sure. Um, what I need to do is I need to get hooked up and I need to get a full res file of that so that I have a file that will support like multiple and different uses. Hey Ross, Taylor the Ross Rocket. Hello, Ross Riker. Ruggedly Handsome says, I love how you've adapted the ability to read through everyone's terrible cell phone. That puts the weirdest word combination. It's a thumbs up from the peanut gallery. Uh, I, I try, Ruggedly Handsome. I probably fail. Uh, but I try. It is tough on cell phones. I get it. Celeste Kitty, I'm in Facebook jail again. I swear I have my own cell with my name on it. What do you keep doing to go into Facebook jail? Hey, Paul Bennett. Hauntings by design. I bought one of those masquerade things at MHC last year. Those work amazing. They were sweat proof and worked according to the salesman. Yeah, I was very happy with those. JLR538LM says hello, hello. Patrick Redding says hello. Rodney Pope says Alexis could send that to you if you wanted to. Yeah, yeah. do it. I think I commented on it and I yeah, just haven't yeah. gotten it yet. Cobweb says, I see the police album synchronicity on that grave digger. Oh my goodness. Cobwebs, thank you for catching that because uh, I thought I was the only person. I love it. This is a Basil Gogos reference. Uh, Basil Gogos from um, Basil the, artist. the artist from Famous Monsters of Filmland. And it also has a little bit of synchronicity. And too. so, because, and he has this style where it's, it's, ba it's basically, it's kind of like different lights are hitting him. But now I'm going to go in with a, with black in the airbrush, and I will do some detail line work. Hey, Al Matra. Al Matra. says, Halloween Grave Digger. I've been waiting to see you make this one. We're going to figure this guy out. Ross Riker, Alan, did you see SKS Props line of foam monster makers? Sorry if it was yelling. I want a chance to see it. I see you, Ross. Foam monster makers sks props i don't know that i have i don't know what a foam monster maker is cobweb says basil basil is freaking awesome misty hey misty jezereski says hello be safe and this is a finish that i've been wanting to do on mass but i haven't been able to do it yet so here we are it's uh, close to Halloween, and uh, now is the time. See, and I'm just bumping up the line work now I can. to make that light be its own kind of thing. Ken says, I like the color schemes on the mask that reminds me of the goose from the game Mad Max. Michelle Schulte says, Basil's Wolfman is one of my favorites. Yes. It looks like a different kind with a cup on top. Can you explain why you switch? Oh, okay. So this is a airbrush that is meant for, this is broad. This is a single action airbrush and it's not good at detail work. Uh, the thinnest line I can get on this is about a quarter of an inch. But then I have a um, Apache H, which is one of my other favorite airbrushes. And this airbrush allows me to get real nice thin lines. 
And I just realized that I could be sitting down while I did this. So I'm going to go grab my chair. Joanne Crowley would like to say, I'm trying to figure out what you're heading to with this paint scheme. Uh, it's going to look cool. I think it's going to be fun. It'll look like a look up the artist Basil Gogos cover. Basil Gogos, Frankenstein, or Phantom. He did a lot of the famous monsters. Uh, he did the famous monsters of Filmland covers. But also explaining that this was a custom job that Scott said. Yeah, and Scott said I could go nuts, so I'm going nuts. He said I could. Cobweb says quick change is one of the reasons why. Yeah, the black one, the quick change is why. I really like it. So this looks like he's being hit by different types of lights, um, but I'm going to pop in and get all these black line work details too. Enigma says, hey Alan, from your experience, how much more profit margin can you get selling silicone as opposed to latex? I know it takes more work, but how much more money can you get into your pocket overall? Um. Depends on how good you are, doesn't it? it, it I, don't, I don't know because I don't know how good the masks are. Uh, that's, that's the big factor. Will people want them? And until you know that, you know, you, 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 I really, I can't say. Milton Knowles, the insane witch king says, are you doing a zombie clown? No, I'm doing a grave digger. Edson, Edson says, uh, I see you, Edson. You don't have to change your name to cat videos. I see you. Uh, Christopher Lazote, he did some awesome cover work for Rob Zombie. Darren Reed, hi, Darren. SKS Props did a cartoon style Universal Monster in PDA. Oh, cool. Nikki. Webster loves the pumpkin face rework. Uh, okay, great. You know what, when we finish this, I'm going to have to get a picture of this very fast because you'll be leaving early. Yeah. Yeah. But this, this is, uh, this is where I'll get a picture of this. HBK Styles. You should make a mask of your own face. That would be wild. No. <laughs> a little tighter. And like one of the hallmarks of this is that thick, just the black in there in those lines. Um, is nice and you have these bright colors. And he was just so good at using color and light. And I'm just trying to emulate that a little. I did these paint jobs, I did this style of paint job on some zombies a while back, and I was just very happy with their results. And I'm happy with this. Lips Noble says, if you paint the lips red and get the face of a white dry brush, once the blue splotches around the eyes, you can make it into a clown grave digger I just met, and that's the clown you like. Milton's a little obsessed with clowns, and he doesn't know that you're not going to Okay, Milton. Milton. I don't do clowns, man. Clowns aren't happening. But have fun. Um, we're not, we're, I'm not clowning around. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, there's so many clowns, there's so many places that you can go on YouTube for scary haunted house clowns. Go, go there. Go there. We're not doing clowns. 
No. JTA haunts. Hey, I just had a really stressful thing to happen, so I'm I'm ta taking a stop here. Your streams always help me relax and cool down after a lot of things. See how it kind of looks like he's got different colored lights shining on him. You know, there's a light shine, like a purple light shining up over this way. And maybe there's a down light and a hard blue light from back here. Yeah. Michael Lester says, in my opinion, the sculpt has to be good enough to justify using silicone. Yeah, well, that, that's for sure. Absolutely. Uh, and that's a good point. Um, there are some silicone masks that just never should have been made. Anthony Pantano says hello and says ask how you're Hello, doing. Anthony Pantano. Uh, I'm doing great. Kelly O'Brien says that vein sticking out of the head is, is so red. Red, easy to read. Kelly O'Brien, I'm oh, sorry, Joanne Crowley says that she looked up the... Oh, Money Pope, this is going to look awesome when you were done. Fred Shea, sorry I'm new to your party. I don't know very much about your channel yet. I have seen a lot of your videos and very much appreciate the work that you put into your projects and into teaching. That is very kind and thank you and I'm glad that you could join us on a live. Thanks, Fred. Um, <laughs> We, uh, I just, I love what I do. I love making monsters. I love making things. And uh, if there's a way to do that and, you know, do a positive message, I, I make monsters for a living. If I can make up monsters and spread a positive message at the same time, then anybody in any profession can do it. Well, um, so if you watch our social media, and I'm going to do better, okay? I promise when we get another Monster Camp date that we have sales and it'll go to the public, when, I, when we get another Monster Camp date, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a YouTube video and announce the camp and let people know so that we just, I'm going to do a better job of that. I have been allowing just the Silty Studios posts on Facebook to do it uh, and do the announcement. And I think that I need a little, I should do better. Mills and Knowles, the insane witch king says, clowns are overdone. I would watch something else if you would clown, but I still love your reactions. Yeah, bruh, yeah, bruh, bruh. AFG 122602 says, yeah, take a stand, no clowns. I did. Robert Here. Brian says, there's a clown text. <laughs> hey, Edie, Edie Blunzer says, hello. Hello, Edie Blunzer. Good to see you on, ma'am. Michelle says, I think sometimes people forget but the lighting in your shop versus the venue makes a big difference. That is true. It's not going to look the same. Yeah, no, yeah. I'm, I don't paint it for my shop either. I paint it for wherever it's going to be. But this guy is kind of coming together, and I'm pretty happy with how he's doing. So, and the white is just like a super highlight, I'm hoping, from these lights. Uh, and this isn't something that I do all the time. I may not be great at it. So, you know. Uh, I kind of wish I were a little more of an artist artist um, when I do stuff like this because, you know, every, everything I know I'm just picking up. And I'm probably putting on a little too much highlights. But I think that looks nice. I think that reads. It looks a bit like a HDR color photo, doesn't it? Celeste Kitty says Alan is the best teacher. Oh, I don't know about that. Head Static says, I went searching for the masquerade things. Unfortunately, all I found is something about an art thing with a personal protective face mask. It's nothing about inserts. So, uh, okay, so um, if you message us on on Stilt Beast or whatever, uh, message us stiltbeaststudios at gmail.com. We can send you a link or we can send you a link. We can send you a link. But that is that, and uh, now I have to put hair on this, and uh, I'm going to get some hair. 
And I'm gonna run into you with a rolly chair. But I'll also, I'll show you guys the calibus mask that I made during Monster Camp. And the, I started it Wednesday night. And then uh, I made a clawful mask that I started Friday. Uh, they are, and several people make really nice clicker masks, and uh, lots of people make them, and they're really great. Is the Grave Digger a sock mask? Yes, the Grave Digger is a sock mask. Fred Shea says, looks like you ran into the wrong kind of rainbow. It's a very mean leprechaun. Uh, Lisa Art says, Grave Digger would make an awesome mummy. That's very true. Yes. Hello, Spire. Hello. He looks awesome. Chris Lizotte said it most definitely says Basil Gogos. Uh, Anthony Pantano looks good so far. Maria, mm, mm, Marina Newman. I didn't catch the first part of the stream. Is the mask bought and then customized or is it handmade? Uh, everyone you've seen tonight is I made. Everyone you saw tonight, I made. Uh, thank you. That mask is a Calibos mask, that I'll call it. It'll be on my website here shortly. Um, you know, right now, we I just got it done. Uh, and that one happens to have horns and hair on it. Uh, but, yeah, I like it. I was happy with it. And this mask is going to get this color hair. I think that's going to uh, do something else to it. Let's, uh, let's not be afraid of color. This mask is going to punch you in the face with color. And yet, and yet, it's not a clown. Clowns don't own colors. That's not how that works. They're not the only ones who are allowed to have color in their lives. Oh no. I see nothing wrong with, let's say, like a pink wolf man. That's allowed. Sure. Why not? Colors are good. So fooby, it's a thing. I don't know what that means, but Mikey Severe taught that to me. Okay. Now, my wife is going to tell you a story from Monster Camp. She has decided. And she's coming over to tell it right now. Really 
really looking great today. Okay. Uh, Monster Camp. Guys, I don't know if this will ever happen again. I don't believe that we're live tonight because, quite frankly, uh, we're about to drop. But, we still have one final mass today. The Monster Camp that just happened was, uh, it only came about with about six weeks. And the reason was is because we did not know that Dark Hour was not going to open. We waited for the official word. Dark Hour is the haunted house that Alan is the creative director at. And when we knew for sure that it was not going to open, we thought, well, well we, can, we can have a monster camp. And so that is how this happened. This should be our busiest weekend of the season, and it was busy, but it was busy in a different way. But uh, Monster Camp 7 was, uh, was very special because, honestly, I don't... Who knows how this pandemic is going to change things, but also uh, very proud of the fact that people uh, came to the camp. We had people from Texas, a couple of people from Texas, and then we had a couple from North Carolina, a gentleman from Minnesota, and a gentleman from Ohio. So the message is, if you say you're to live too far away, I really encourage you to consider think again slacker oh okay i can i encourage you to consider travel for a trip or flying whatever it is and get here if you really really want to do this i'm still talking I'm still talking you asked me to tell a story yeah they can hear you you talk i'll do the hairy talk it up wife Well, this got to be done tonight. Um, let's see. That's great. Uh, Rodolfo says it's awesome. It's a great job. Learning a lot. Thank you. Jody Card Cardinal. Hi, Jody. Hello, Jody. Checking in from Orlando, Florida. The white was the trick. It's looking good. I like the white. Uh, yeah, adding the highlights. Adding the highlights was a biggie. I agree. I didn't know I was going to do that until I could tell I needed to. Brian Rosales, I totally recognize the clawful character had that action figure growing up. Me too. I had all the bad guys growing up. Every single one of them. David Banda says you're giving me nightmares tonight. Hooray. Uh, Riot Demon says the mouth movement looks great on that mask. Hey, thanks. David Morse, uh, D Moore, DJ Moore says it's amazing work. Edson Juice says the mask is awesome. Thanks. Uh, Al Matra, Jerry thinks the first mask you tried on is amazing. Calamos. Thank you. David Quintana says monster masks matter. Uh, the Calamos was my favorite, says DJ Moore. And that, that's uh, loosely inspired by Calamos from Clash of the Titans. Uh, you know, it, it's similar features and stuff, but then I went crazy with the texture. I tried a new technique that I invented um, and to see how it worked. I can, Celeste says, I can see him with a blue pan and purple pan and the oldish raggedy suit, dry brushed with those colors as maybe the host of a haunt. I agree with you. I mean, this this look is kind of powerful, you know, uh, all those colors. Working with wet clay and having a mold problem, can I use 2% bleach in water? To keep it moist and fight mold, will I? Will it have any ill effect? No, or vinegar. Vinegar kills mold and mildew. So I keep a spray bottle of vinegar. Uh, that works fine, but you can also put a capful of bleach in a spray bottle full of water. Uh, that works fine too. DJ Moore, is Monster Camp only for the pros, the people who work in the haunts? No, not at all. Monster Camp is for everybody. Um, we had one person who worked haunted, two, three people who worked haunted houses on this one, but uh, the others didn't really work haunts. No, not at all. It's not for pros at all. It's for anybody, anybody. So far, 100% success rate. 
So that's Kitty. What happened to your fingers, Alan? Were you talking excitedly with your hands while holding a blade again? No. Um, let's just say there was a very large mold, and it slipped from where it was being held, and it fell uh, and crushed my finger. So I got a good-sized gash and a divity chunk taken out. It happens. I'll be good. Edie Blitzer says, I've been getting updates about Transworld 2021. So far, it looks like a go. Yes. Plastic Ninja says, that's a neat color scheme for the grave digger. You know what? I, 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 have, I did some zombies like this a while ago, and I was very happy with them. Uh, we used them for actually the last show that we did at Dark Hour, the February show. Uh, and it was the, that this was the makeup style I did on all those zombies for the images and stuff. And I really liked it. Um, and I kind of can't get it out of my head. So I wanted to do a mask with it. Let's see how this works. Um, I picked this nice light color hair so that I can also then uh, do some airbrushing on this hair too. Okay, well, I think you probably just answered this next question, but I'm going to let me just. just he just lucky 2001 thought you were making a clown, and he has he was making a joke. It just happens to have color. And he has retracted his comments. Clowns can't read it. Clowns don't own color. Okay, let's be clear about that. They happen to be colorful, but I think if other monsters kick it up a notch, they can take color back from clowns, and that's going to take away a lot of the clown's power. Good night, Ron Schreps. Haunting by Designs, will you be selling stilts alone in MHC or Transworld? Yep, I always do. Yep. Plastic Ninja, what color will the hat be? Uh, the hat is a base black, but I am going to uh, dry brush some white onto it. And then um, from there, we'll see. I think I might hit it with a couple highlights. We'll see. I don't know. What type of silicone are you using on the hair and does it stretch when you use it? This is silicone one, clear silicone one caulking. Where do you get the yellow hair? It does have stretch. This is from JBS Hair. Uh, this is from JBS Hair on the interwebs. So you can find them there. The brand is She Brand. And I think this is uh, eight inch. Riot Demon, do you hate clowns from popular movies, or are you just tired of them in general? Um, so, you know, you've heard the expression, every time a bell rings, an angel gets its wings. Well, every time a haunt clown is created, a different monster never got a chance to be born. Uh, I just think there's so many other opportunities out there and so many people go for the easy, low-hanging fruit that is a haunt clown. And I'm not saying that they can't be well done. I'm not saying that they aren't, honestly, okay characters and they have a use um, in haunts, but I think they're overutilized. They're overutilized. That is the main issue that I see with them. And here's Scott Paul. And I don't know, but he might be doing that from his phone. I have no idea. Scott, that man is a monster. And if I say someone's a monster, that is the highest form of compliment. Because I value monsters over almost anything else. What's the longest strands of, strands of hair that you can buy in length? Uh, I've used 28-inch hair set up this way. 28 inches. What kind of text is That's a lot of her. What? What part of Texas are you guys in? We are near, I, for, for a brief second, like, why is my wife asking me that? She knows where I live. Uh, we are one hour west of Dallas, east of Dallas. East of Dallas. One hour east of Dallas. Dallas is west of us. Papa Pennywise, I want to go to Krampus class, but I am not an artist. Uh, come on. 
You don't have to be an artist. Uh, the sculpting is done. The molding is done. I base it out. You get to paint it. I'll help. And then you pick horns and you pick hair. And we make awesome Krampus masks. It is a lot of fun. If you're Body able to come out and do it, please do. Body Geek says, Papa, this was my first time ever touching clay or doing this. Was it Monster Camp 7? You can do it. And he made the awesome tree mask that you guys saw. I love the screened eyes on the, uh, oh yeah, his eyes are just black, soulless pits. Yeah, but that's going to be such an easy mask for someone to wear. Yeah, I think this kind of color and not being a clown is going to be awesome. People love low-hanging fruit. It's not that you won't get great responses. It's that you are one of 7,000 haunted house clowns. Plastic Ninja says, nothing is wrong with clowns and zombies, in my opinion. I agree. I agree. Let's moderate. I also love waffles. Man, I love waffles. Waffles are great. But if you gave me waffles for breakfast, waffles for lunch and waffles for dinner for a month I'd be sick of waffles so I like waffles I don't want waffles at every meal lucky 2001 says that Skeksis was that was made was amazing oh it was very good yes Milton Knowles says your mask looks really cool that is an awesome clown you've made Enigma says my clown Hold is on. different stop reading stuff from Milton Okay. At this point, he's kind of getting on my nerves. Okay. I want to like him, but I, I, that's not how I want to interact with you. Let's talk about stuff that I enjoy. You keep bringing up stuff that you know I don't necessarily enjoy. That doesn't make you a good friend. I want to be a good friend to you. I would like for you to be a good friend to me. There we go. You're saying things that you mean to hurt my feelings. You know? That's not fun. Let's not do that to each other. Okay. Carry on. Jason Augustini, I would love to do Monster Camp, but seeing all those sculpts when I've never worked with clay ever intimidated the heck out of me. Well, uh, most of those people have never worked with clay ever either. Big Daddy's Bear Cave, it looks so cool. What is your all-time favorite monster, asks DJ Moore. Oh, werewolves, wolfmen. Wolfmen, for sure. They're the best. Uh, the design was good. It was a little CG heavy, as it was entirely CG. Um, but the design is good. I like that uh, bipedal, big, gray werewolf. I like that. Um, it was done very well in a movie called Cursed. It was done very well in a movie called Bad Moon. Uh, those were excellent. Uh, Van Helsing's design was very good. 
I do wish that there was some kind of a practical element to it because then he would resonate a little more with the viewers, which he did not. Plastic Ninja, I've been saving my where here concept for when I can get to Monster Camp. Where pair. P Y R E. Where pair. <laughs> Werepire. Half Fire. vampire, half werewolf. When I, I can, when I can get to Monster Camp. Cool. Roosevelt Hill Cemetery. Would you ever consider it in making a sleigh stack version of mask from the land of walls? Uh, it's possible, yes. I'd look and see if any else are out there. And if someone else is already making one, I would, I would steer you towards that. Um, but if no one else is, then sure. Poor monger. Alan, did you ever do anything with the big snake you bought? Not yet. Not yet. Enigma, is there a real difference between silicone one and two? Yes. Yes, there is. It's a huge difference. Uh, but that difference is largely chemical, so it is hard and expensive to explain. <laughs> um, but there is a difference, yes. Lucky 2001, the way the hair looked when I first came on made me think that it was a clown. It was just from the back. I think this is a really cool for a grave deer, and then I can see what you're doing. Um, it's, it's a different animal, yeah. I mean, it's, it's, it's color. Uh, and, you know, it's not that we're afraid of color. It's not that... Our industry doesn't use color very much. Uh, well, they don't. But they seem to think that clowns own color. And I, I, I disagree. I don't think that's true at all. Jordan Bunsey, hello. Hey, Jordan. Jordan, crazy beautiful things you've been posting. That, that face you made that you have for your show is beautiful. Uh, this is so many great masks from Monster Camp 7. Yeah, they kick butt. They kicked butt. <coughs> In a chair says, my big project this year failed miserably. The best thing about Halloween is no one can compare it to my vision. Plus, I learned a lot from experience. That is exactly right. No one knows what's missing. They, you know what I mean? No one knows what was on your list and you had to edit out for time. No one knows that stuff. Greg Dorch, I love your videos. I've been watching you since you were making human pelts on your backyard fence. Keep up the good work. Why, thank you. Edie Blitzer, question. I painted my witch's mask using sponges. You said I need to make the creases darker, but I'm not sure how to go about doing that. Could you tell me how to do that without making a mess? Well, what I normally do is I dry, I air, I paint it black, and that's my base, and then I dry brush uh, my colors on. But if you're painting with sponges, I think you'd have to go back with a... Uh, with a brush and just go into those lines and darken it up a little bit to get back some contrast. I'm going to do a little bit of Googling here to get an image reference. Tell me when you're clear to talk. I'm clear to talk. Lisa Ardent, when do you have to decide on the holiday haunt for dark hour? Um, we'll decide in November. Jason Augustini, I saw a fun co pop giant beast man yesterday. It made me think of you. Yeah, it is. Uh, those are 10 inches, and uh, I want one of those pretty good. I haven't had a chance to search for them, but um, I haven't had a chance to search for them and, and look to buy one, but I, I definitely want one. I'll be getting one eventually. Celeste Kitty, there are not enough sand costumes in the world. I need to make one so I can borrow small kids and have them randomly standing around to scare people. Yeah. Michelle Schulte says, I love the outside of the box thinking. Enigma says, puppets and dolls own color and so do animatronic horror creatures. Yeah. Big Monkey Fez just turned in and loving the Basil Gogo's inspiration. Hooray. Brandy Greer, the hat makes it perfect. 
tart works, and I love the color. Lucky 2001, it is interesting to see what the world's opinion is on what should get certain types of color. Maybe monsters like to be fabulous also. Without doubt. John Gray, I'm six foot two. What would you recommend to create a size appropriate size for a death costume? Um, okay, so I would use a three quarter or one inch EMT pipe, borrow or get a pipe bender to bend it into that scythe shape. And then for the blade of the scythe, I would use Sintra plastic. Sintra plastic, S-I-N-T-R-A. And you can heat shape that and it cuts with normal tools pretty easy. Lucky 2001, it is interesting to see what the world's opinion is on what should get certain types of color. Maybe monsters like to be fabulous also. Yeah. Oh, sorry about that. You did. That's okay. Uh, Plus Ninja, human pelts were where I found Alan too. Hooray! Scott Colhart, who is the owner of this mask, says that is sweet. On the spotlight because it's I have an idea. We're gonna do it. We're doing it. It's happening. It's happening, man. Ghost hunters, be careful. This guy is on the sex offender registry. Who is? Who said this? I think he thinks the the mask. Okay. Please, please make sure that you clarify and you're not trying to warn people that I am a sex offender. Yeah. Ghost hunters, please clarify. What a weird, what a weird comment night we're having. Anthony Pantano, I just found out my sister brought home COVID from a person at the gym she goes to, so I'm still going to have two weeks. Wow. Just have your live videos to keep me sane. Tom I'll Everett. Do Alan, my best. I'm just curious, have you ever danced with devil in the family life? You asked that of all your victims. The Lady Bloom, he is cool. I love the color. The face is awesome. Is this is for high? Uh, it, it, this is a grave digger. This is a this is one of my grave digger masks. I wanted to do just a special version, uh, what I would call a Halloween version, and um, here we are. This does give me a, like a little bit of vibes of the child snatcher from Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. Just a little. Okay, Ghost Center's on time now. What'd he say? Uh, he, he's saying you're on the sex offender registry. I don't think that I am. And I just, uh, I just put you in timeout. No, I've actually never been arrested. Yeah. Yeah. When we hit 50,000 people, and yeah, the channel has 53,000 people, um, and some of them, they're, some of y'all is weird. Thank you. says, have y'all made any first national mythical creatures like, first nations mythical creatures like Wendigo? I have done Wendigo. Yes, I have. Uh, I did a very generic Wendigo. I have not done anything um, very specific to any indigenous people per se. William Clarius says, hey, Alan, I'm wondering if any of the masks that were made at Monster Camp have foam in them for sale. Uh, many of them have EVA support, is what they have. They have EVA foam support in them, which is a little bit of a different animal. But none had foam stuck in them. Points in the Silk says, color of nature, the smaller and more brightly colored the animal is, the more you really shouldn't touch it. Color is there for a reason. Yes. Thou art correct.
It's okay, puppers. It's okay. Sorry, guys, I'm grabbing some paint. Awesome, but yeah, there's a child snatcher. Child snatcher, I think. Yeah, yeah, with the top hat and stuff. Yeah. From, uh, Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. It's okay, guys. I blocked him. All right. At least put him in timeout. He comes back. We'll see how he does. I don't know why he would say such hurtful things about me. I don't know, but we are just going to press on. Yes, Juan Carlos, we are live. Brandy Greer, I am a new fan. I'm excited to try some of your techniques. We own a hardware store, so it's so cool to get inspired by your work. That's awesome. Classic, and it says I love the black orange on the hat. The orange band on the hat. It's coming back. Lisa says, child catcher gave me nightmares as a kid. Steve Kellis says, Alan, what do you think about the show Mandalorian on Disney? They are making more organic special effects, less CG like the old Star Wars. Uh, yes, unless you count that most of their sets are CG. Um, they, they really are, and, and I, I'm very happy with what they're doing. So uh, you're not going to hear me complain about it. Um, and I love the show. It's a wonderful show. Wednesday from 7 p.m. to 10 p.m. Jeremy Dempsey, have you ever done a hemoglobin mask? My wife wants to make I don't know what that is. Uh, we have a mask that we named Hemo Hemogoblin. We have a mask that we named that. Uh, I didn't think it was another type of character, so. Hemogoblin or hemoglobin? Hemogoblin. I, we, I, we made one that we call hemogoblin. Look on our website, stillbestudios.com. Heat gun time. I don't, but I could do one. That's not a bad idea for a video. What I'll probably do is a whole mask, you know, a, a video on uh, how to adjust masks for your needs. Because, you know, that's adding foam padding, adding EVA foam for support and stuff. Those are all pretty important topics. So when I came up with that name, a lot of what I did was stilt costumes, and I still make stilt costumes, so I am a stilt beast. And they're monsters for haunts, so they are stilt beast costumes. Hey Smith, being a haunter, I love your work. It gives me so many great ideas. Do you have ACAF? Hello, Gorilla. 
wife and I just watched Halloween. We are now really in the spirit of the holiday. Awesome. Me too. I'm a pumpkin. Are you going to make an alien time? An alien anytime soon? Um, I'm not a huge sci-fi guy, but it's possible. I mean, I may. Franchise says that character would fit into a Tim Burton movie in her friend. says, I want the many faces mask from all of you creepers. It's awesome. Can't believe y'all, no one grabbed up yet. That was uh, Malvin. Yeah, give her a Malvin. PJ Moore. So I've been trying to think of a new scarecrow for the next year to sit on the front porch seeing all this color. Is going to be some ideas. Good. Ideas are good. This is a tie. If you ever get a chance to watch the Wolf of Snow Hollow, jump. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. I have a habit of watching terrible movies by accident. Are there any latex alternatives for people with latex allergies? Absolutely. You can actually watch my uh, video on making a burlap mask. I use contact cement. I don't use any latex in it at all. So that is perfectly fine for you to make and wear. I also have a video on making a spray foam mask, which is fine for you to make and wear. And um, you can, of course, go the silicone mask route. Uh, that is very popular. You can do that, no problem. So you have options. There's also neoprene, which is uh, very similar to silicone if you want to sculpt and mold, but neoprene does shrink over time. John Kerr, currently molding a demon crease prosthetic to run in foam latex, knock this guy out in about four hours. Awesome. Great job. How many customers do you lose due to latex allergy? I don't know because I sell latex masks, so I wouldn't know. You know what I mean? Because they didn't buy from me. Lisa says, turning it into a work of art, loving it, how would you cost it? Uh, I, I'll have to tell you once I'm done. But I think that you could uh, put it with, you know, just a classic looking suit or, yeah. Boy, I'm having trouble with this airbrush tonight. It should have been a five minute thing. And I had thick paint, so I, I thinned it. But I think I still have thick stuff in the straw. Let's see if that, what I just did, fixed it. Have any of your characters or features been featured in any movies or television shows? I don't make things for movies and shows. Uh, I make monsters for haunted houses. So my work has been featured in haunted houses, but I'm not in the movie industry. I don't necessarily want to be in the movie industry. I enjoy working for haunts. There's not the thing <laughs> no, this is, uh, this is water. This is a uh, flavored water. That is my winding down beverage for the evening. Peach mango green tea flavor. I'm so afraid. Alan, I remember seeing an old interview with Tom Savini and he mentioned working at a haunted house in North Carolina back in the day. Did you happen to know which one that was? No. I'm afraid I don't. Alan Russman says, can we get some still videos? Uh, yes, we can. How do you feel about a night mask, K-N-I-G-H-T mask slash helmet? Uh, I make them. Uh, I make them, I sell them, I take them to Trans World, so uh, I like them, let's say. Steve Poulos, one way or another, someday I will get to Monster Camp. Come on. I am from Illinois, but I will make it happen. It seems like you learn new stuff and are among friends. I like it. 
Have you ever considered doing a Medusa mask? Uh, yes, I have. I've made a couple. You guys can't see what I'm doing now. I'm sorry. I'm bad at this whole camera thing. Okay. William asked earlier, and his phone cracked out, so he's trying to catch up. Alan, do you have these videos on how to apply the EVA phone into masks that need? Uh, I don't, but that's a good idea for me to make some videos on. I should do some general mask adjustment videos, and, uh, and I will. That is an excellent idea. product? Uh, I do not like Krylon Crystal Clear. I don't like it. Uh, I don't like it for clay. I don't use it. Um, I don't think anyone should recommend it. I'm not a fan. I cover my uh, sculpt in Pledge, Pledge Furniture Polish. It is pretty fast as far as application. I don't have to wait hours and hours like you do with spray paint or something. Uh, it's pretty much ready to go. So, um, I'm sorry that that happened to you. You got some bad advice. I think that there was a time back when um, the industry used Roma Plastina, but no one uses that anymore. So there's no need for crystal clear. What doesn't look good? Butter lids don't work so well. What are you using a butter lid for? So it's Kitty. I got some soft foam bat wing things with the straps from Dollar Tree. I'm going to see if I can keep gum noodles to them to be a wing harness. Cool. John Siberta, hello from Cape Corral, Florida. Love your channel. Um, John, isn't that where Spook Alley is? Spooky Alley? Spooky Alley? That's a Corby. That's her home haunt. Okay. I think that's the same place. Anyway, you guys have got some great home haunts. Like Monster Camp went well. It did go well. Monster Camp went very well. Do you make your own Halloween costumes? Um, yes. And I make other people's Halloween costumes. Hey, you might you... say I am in the Halloween costume business. Anthony Pantano says, what is the plan for the hat? Uh, I'm just going to decorate it. Gina Tanner, I have to admit I was a bit skeptical of the colors of the Gravedigger, but I kept telling myself Alan knows what he's doing, and once again, I'm very impressed. Paul Bennett says, awesome color on that. Monster Camp students want to know what time you are picking them up tomorrow. Is it 9 o'clock? It is 9 o'clock. 9 o'clock, we'll do a group field trip out to Biddy Mold Supply and Dark Alley. Hey, Jim, what's the This is UV, so um, this is UV orange. So this, and I put the white behind it to make sure that this will pop very well. I want to dry this off. Are you envisioning how the mask will look in black light 
Normally it's dark haunted house. Normally. This one is a little more of a showy piece. So uh, he'll have a little bit of a different paint job. Nikki says I'm getting a Tales from the Crypt vibe from this mask. That is perfectly acceptable. Michelle Schulte, if you can't create, if you can't locate pool noodles, do you think Loctite foam would work? Loctite foam? It depends on what for. Alan, the white layer was put down just so the yellow would pop. That's Robert Bryan asking. Correct. Yes, that is correct. <laughs> uh, Michelle says, I should be specific for the angel wings. Uh, yeah, you could Loctite that down onto a plastic sheet. I think that would work fine. You might need to do something in there for some structure. Have to grab some more paint. I got you, buddy, Geeks. Yes, the, yours, your shop. They'll be there at 9 tomorrow morning for the Dark Hour Tour. Randy Greer, I feel like pipe insulation could work as well as pool noodles. Absolutely it can. Mike Murphy, why did you brush on the white and then spray the color? Um, because if I did not spray the color, then if I didn't put brush on the white, then, and I, I wanted this like starburst effect, but if I just used the airbrush for the white, um, the white was very fast to do with the brush and it helps pop the color of the orange. I hope that answered the question. John Kerr, what type of pledge furniture polish do you use? There's so many variations of it now. I don't know what to buy. I just use the original or I, you know what? Uh, I've been using a off-brand um, version now from Walmart. It, it's the uh, great value um, furniture polish that looks like a can of pledge. It's the same stuff. Just a spray on wax. Lemon pledge is fine. Great value is fine. Oh, Daza, hello. This guy looks amazing. Speaking of, everyone at Monster Camp's masks looks awesome. Honey by cool. design, what lighting would you use to make this mask pop? Well, his hat is UV. So if he could walk by UV some, I think that would be great. When I make when I make my characters, I always try to imagine a backstory. I love that. <laughs> what is the backstory of this one? What a great question. I think that this is just a grave digger who um, is. Uh, I think this is a grave digger on Halloween, and I think that in past Halloweens he has been afraid, and because all of the things come out of the, the graves and the crypts and it's his job to kind of wash them and keep them in and put them back but i think that this year he has decided to join them and he has decided to um, get a little more festive colored and dress up and he is going to join the dead and uh dance the night away with them Paul Bennett, what about the use of pipe insulation from local hardware stores like Home Depot or Menard? As long as it's pretty stout. The issue is some of that just disintegrates when you are uh, giving them, when you give it heat with the heat gun. So you, you have to, you know, just kind of buy one and test it. One of them is like two bucks, though, so it's not like that's a big deal. William Clarius says all the masks from Monster Camp look amazing. They did look amazing. Those Bye, guys yes, tomorrow morning, 9 a.m. Pick you up. Spooky Alley is in Cape Corral. We're actually, we've actually only been here going on for four months. Just found out about it this week. Super excited to check it out, says John Savar. Savara. Uh, that's great. You guys have got some beautiful home haunts going and uh, trying to follow as many as I can. Really beautiful work. And I think home haunts are very special and very important this year. They're special all the time. I don't 
I keep calling this the year of the home run. It's pretty special. Good night, Edie. Dances with legs. Just discovered the channel the other day. I just want to say great stuff. Thank you. Dances with lag. <laughs> <It's the name. laughs> okay, awesome. Good night. Steve Coolis. I think of myself as an amateur artist. I'm learning so much here. Thank you. I am also an amateur artist. James Holbrook. Would you tell Cindy Holbrook happy birthday? Happy her birthday is tomorrow. I love the channel. Cindy? Cindy Holbrook. Cindy Holbrook, happy birthday. For sure, happy birthday. The Turtle Wax Car And Happy Halloween. Sorry, carry on. The Turtle Wax Car Polish work on the clay busts also. Um, I, I, I don't think that's necessary. I think that's going to be overkill. You don't have to do that. Is this grave digger going to be under black light? Um, well, uh, I, not necessarily, but if it is, it's going to look awesome. Smallwood, Alaska, no such thing. <laughs> All right, kid. Anthony Pantano, Van Halen, dance the night away. It popped in my head when you said that. Me too. It's a good song. Uh, Risky the Keeper, you make really cool stuff. Right, thank you. Fred Shea, I would like to thank you both for being professional and dealing with the situation. Is that coming up? Very much looking forward to getting information about classes. If it's anything like this, why? Well, uh, we uh, we love what we do, uh, and we I, I take monsters very seriously. But also, I think that uh, art is something that we should share, and I think that oh my goodness, that's funny. people uh, feel better when they make stuff. So I think that's a thing, you know. Maybe I have to give it away. Oh, goodness. This was Scott purchased. Colhart. I'm so jealous right now. Good chair. Video, we can all learn a lot and have already learned a lot. Thank you guys very much for all you do. You two finish production. But unfortunately, I have to put the kids down. Good night. Good night. Hope oh, that's put down like bedtime. Body. Not like Buddy Geek says, careful, can you'll get the wire and Tom Cruise tea. Yeah. Happy Halloween, JLR. Uh, Liliana Costello says, incredible. Uh, Robert Bryant says, the mask is very festive. Michael says, that's so cool. That's Great what I job. wanted. I wanted festive. Will you model this under a black light when it's done? Yes, I can do that for you. Baba Daza, happy Halloween, Mr. and Mrs. Hops, and the Hops fam, and everyone else. Happy Halloween, Baba Daza. Happy Halloween. No, 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 no. Anthony Pantano, how much do you charge for classes? Uh, so, Monster Camp is the class that, that most people are talking about right now. And Monster Camp is a class that is a full weekend. It is Friday, you spend all day sculpting. Saturday, you spend... Um, on Saturday, you spend Saturday uh, molding and all that stuff. And then Sunday, we pull your mask out of the mold and you paint it. So it is a very intense weekend. Monster Camp is $5.50 for the weekend. Uh, all your meals are included. You have to get here and you have to pay for a hotel. Other than that, uh, everything is kind of covered. Um, and then we also have labs and labs are 250 and labs are one full day and they're all kinds of different things we do airbrush labs coming up on our schedule we have a krampus lab we're making a krampus mask um so yeah krampus lab and then um airbrush lab are the two labs we have coming up right now i'm looking for something that i can't find and that's kind of if you're new to a live, just get used to this. Uh, about half of the live is me looking for something that I just had in my hand, or it's me looking for something that I don't know where I put it. So there. And you thought I was here to entertain you.
I had some UV paints that... On the back of the door? What's that? On the back of the door? I don't see them. They were... I used them on the worms, remember? That was a few weeks ago. But I did. So I that, that was a little while ago. That's the problem. But that's okay. I don't necessarily need it. What I'll do is I'll do this. John Kerr says, Alan, I really appreciate you and your videos. You've been a ton of help over the years that I've been watching. You've been an asset to creating my original characters. Well, that's very kind of you. I'm glad that I was able to help in some small way. William Claria says, just an idea. Hang many pumpkins all around the rim of the hat. You and me, we're on the same page. <laughs> Blue crescent moon in the sky would look great, says Celeste Kitty. I'm doing a full moon, and I just mixed the color for it. <laughs> Elena Rosamina says, I love the effect that the black you are using looks like it's being darker in the black of the hat. Rachel Powell loves the tree. Body Geeks, Monster Camp is an awesome experience. If you can, you have, if you can, you have to do it. Thank you, Body Geeks. Thank you so much for the support. Celeste Kitty, don't forget the mask blank paint sets that you that are in the works. My husband is excited about those. I have mask not forgotten. I have not forgotten. I am not <laughs> doing the forgetting. Buddy he says, oh man, I forgot to set an, an ALAFC reminder for the MC7 before I left. <laughs> Shadow Jim, anyone says hello. Hello. More longer says Monster Camp B and B. Philip Earl says, you are not alone in seeking something I just said down. Yeah, that's, I, like, I'm so bad at that. Alan Rasmussen, uh, how did you modify the heads to sit so well on those clamps? Uh, they're styrofoam heads, and they have a hole in them, and I just shove them down onto those poles. Like, yeah, it, that's, it's easy, in my opinion. Enigma, hey, Alan, we got cut off when we walked. I'm talking about the paint. Can you tell us about the price of the details left out? Um, oh, um, no, I can't. But I can later. Like, um, but that's not where I'm, my head is at right now. I'm sorry. So I'm working on this. And uh, I would have to mentally change a lot of gears. And I am not good in that. Good at that. That is a fault in me, not a fault in you. But regardless, I cannot get it done. Shadow Jim, anyone? Where are you? When are you making a full skull? The full what? Full skull. Full skull of what? Yes, I don't. I don't know what you're referring to. I gotta dry my moon so I can make my witch. Chad, 
Basil Gogos inspired paint scheme? It is. It is. Uh, I'll pick his head up and show it to you here in a bit. I'm painting a full moon, so I didn't have that problem. The new moon is a dark moon, and I wanted a bright full moon on Halloween like we're going to have. Hey, Leonard Cook. This is good evening. Thanks for the vlog. I shot Jim was telling you're going to make a full human skull. Uh, I, I have a skull mask. I mean, I don't know what you mean by full human skull. As you wish. Good night, Butter Geeks. Buddy Geeks, see you tomorrow. Allison Rosman, changing gears is the worst. I hate when I'm in the zone and suddenly I have to take a leak or something and I don't want to get thrown off my groove and I end up in body dance for a while. Uh, yes. Uh, but my brain works in a very weird way, so I'm not, um, it's, it's hard for me to change gears that way. It just is. And I know that sounds like a weird cop-out, and I wish I could help you better, but I'd have to actually stop what I'm doing, and uh, I, I want to, I, I just, I want to get this Halloween out of me for a bit. Can you bring the, can you bring the camera a little closer? A little closer. Rodney Pope says, I will third, that Monster Camp is a great deal, and so, it was so much more. Thank you, Rodney. Paul, well, Alan, can you make a skeleton of the leech lord? Perhaps, well, okay. I on top of the leech lord. Not bog on a, not on the log on a hole on a frog. Alan, gonna... can you make a skeleton of the leech lord? But a half skull and I on top of the leech lord. Um, maybe later. I, I guess it's possible. Um, Decompressed file size. Most model builders would be terrified to paint such a large freehand line, no less. Nice work. Thanks. John Kerr. I'm not smart enough to be afraid. Alan, were, were you self-taught or did you have any kind of technical training? How do you know what materials would work for a particular application? I fail a lot and often. So, I mean, truly, uh, I just, I, I try stuff. I experiment all the time. And sometimes it works, and sometimes it doesn't. So, you know. Jordan Bunsey, it would be neat to see that design on a still piece t-shirt. I agree. Well, let me get the mask finished first. <laughs> EJ Outdoor Adventure says I've been doing a reaper statue. Nice. I'm doing a reaper. Leonard Cook, quick question, Alan. Would a mop head work in making hair for my bucket buddy? Absolutely it would. Warm monitor, my brain is like a junk drawer filled with useless crap. Yeah. Rio Bulato, I hey, I thought of a good idea. You should do an original Halloween candy falling down the hat like candy corn and all that good stuff. Uh, that isn't a bad idea, and I actually thought about candy. I did think about candy for a little bit, but uh, I decided to keep it. I, I, I didn't want this. I wanted him to stay a grave digger, you know. Uh, I didn't want. I didn't want to stray too much away from him. His grave diggeriness. So I thought a nice Halloween graveyard scene up here would be the way to go with that. Poison soap. 
Um, Baron Semedi would really appreciate the cool hat. Definitely an invite to the party. Uh, I, yeah, I think that's that's the whole point. Will he wants live schedule be different this week because of how the Um. I want to be honest with you. I don't know. This is, uh, This is the Halloween I have right now. Jeremiah Dempsey says amazing. David Quintana says I'm big in the head. No pun intended. Love the bearded. What is the longest you have left your large graveyard statues outside of the elements? That is actually a very good question regarding the uh, angel right now. Who, but she was not really made to be an outside. For well, time. yeah, well, we had some pretty heavy storms. And my angel lost her wings. And the wind knocked her over so um other than that she's holding up great um but there is you know uh i i would when i put the wings back on i'll throw some screws into her uh into the wings to hold them on i'm sorry about that guys i got a little choked up for a second um this is the halloween i have right now and it's just different it's not bad it's different DJJ D Monkey says with a little with a little black paint that would also be a very cool voodoo witch doctor. Uh it could be, yes. It could be. Says, I got here late. It's a top hat made from thin EVA craft foam. Yes, it's from five millimeter EVA craft foam, absolutely. That's what it is. Larry Hughes, that hat looks great. I may need to get me one. Oh Larry. <laughs> Can't stop Larry. Uh, Larry will not be contained. My son saw the hat and said that yellow is an American is said yellow in American sign language. That's very cool. Hooray! Brian Downer. Hello, Brian. Sweet. I get to see another one live. My second now. Yeah, I know, but I'm but my notification has laryngitis. You know what? You know what? Then just thank you for joining us. Travis Thanks for hanging out with us. Garden says, I have a spooky tree and a moon tattoo. I need to finish the scene. Yeah, get it all. Collect the set. Cookie Man says, we are all here for you, Alan. And Lisa says, I feel the same, Alan. We are here for each other this year. Uh, let's see. John Kerr, do you ever run into a foam latex, do you ever run foam latex appliance or even silicone? Silicone is intimidating me. Also, what's the best way to paint flesh on latex appliances to make them, them realistic? Uh, so, foam latex is actually harder than silicone. Silicone is easy. Uh, foam latex, you have to bake, and the humidity has to be right. Foam latex is a souffle, and silicone is brownies. Um, truly, it's uh, the, they're in different leagues as far as their... Um, hardness. Much harder, in my opinion, to do foam latex. But silicone is a little more expensive, so your screw-ups cost more. That's, that's the only thing that you have to consider. Travis Gordon says, I feel you, Alan. I have felt the same way this year. It's supposed to be the weekend of our annual Halloween celebration on the Houston Trail. Um, Baba Daza, hang on, let me back up and see what your original question is. She got kicked off. Uh, was the hat made of thin EVA craft foam? Could you repeat your answer? Yes, it is five millimeter EVA. There you go, Baba Daza. It's okay. We got you. Leo Bellotto, on the back of the hat, you should have a day grave scene. <laughs> So you can hatch the, so you can switch to the front. It's at night, and then you have to switch to the head. It's back. Oh, that's a fun idea. That's not a bad idea. John Kerr says I run foam, but I have haven't ever run silk. 
No, a silicone's easy. Uh, listen, you do a uh, make yourself a uh, a nice a resin mold. Um, you know, uh, encapsulate your silicone in bulbies, and then it's A B. You scrape it in. Um, Stuart Bray has some amazing videos on uh, silicone prosthetics. Uh, Biddy Mold Supply has excellent videos on uh, silicone prosthetics. So, Happy Halloween, Amy Watkins, Monster Camp 6. Happy Halloween. Granny's Garage, a cheap way to pour a silicone mold, like thin silicone coal, and not to pour over something. No, no. It's when you go pourable, you don't want to use silicone coal. It doesn't, it won't set up with any kind of a thickness to it. So that's not the way to go. Just spend the money on good silicone. I am a cheap and frugal dude, and I assure you that's the best way to do it. David Quintana says, I like that hat. Thanks. Brian Downer says, foam latex is very touchy indeed. I, I taught myself using the foam version. Lisa Aaron says, I love the Baba. I've been using a lot of uh, Ellenisms while teaching. Be a lantern and analysis by paralysis are two of my favorites. Yeah. Hey, Courtney. Courtney Babino, you are the Bob Ross of Monster Making. Thanks. That is very kind. David Quintana says it fits the mask perfect. Uh, Alan says, are you going to anchor the hat to the mask? No, I'm not. Uh, these, these, these hats I make, and I make them to fit the mask. So it is... Uh, it's already, um, it's meant, it's size to go on it. Just like you don't have to anchor a, um, you don't have to anchor it to a, to your human head. You don't have to anchor it, uh, here. You really have to get that away. Yes. Rodney says, that pumpkin just put the finishing touch on it. Granny's Garage, thank you for everything. We love you guys. Thank you, Granny. Thank you. Uh, Courtney says, love the hat scene. John Kerr, I think I'm intimidated by the cost of screw ups with silicone. I understand that. Uh, aim small, miss small. Uh, try some small batches. Good night. We're coming early. Good night, sir. Good night. Taylor, the mask is the best grade digger I've seen. I totally love it. Really big for me because it's meant for a mask. Oh, Brian, I'm jealous of this hat. Super Halloween awesomeness. Okay, now I think I've Hey, baby, can you uh, talk for a second? Mm -hmm. Just come here and talk to these folks for a second. I'll be right back. Okay. Wow. Holy smokes, guys. So, just uh, thanks, everybody, so much. Thank you, guys. Um, we have had uh, a very full weekend. And um, a lot of people are having a tough time right now with uh, things that are, that are shutting down and whatever. That's a lot. And uh, I think it's important that we take a moment and uh, appreciate uh, what is this time of year. Uh, we've been doing a lot of uh, fun uh, jack-o'-lanterns. I've really enjoyed it. We're putting them out in spooky places, and uh, you know we're dragging out the old movies. And thank Jordan, thank you, Jordan. We're dragging out the old movies, and we're having a lot of fun trying to do that. And it's a struggle, it is. But I just want to tell you guys, 
Uh, for those of you who tune in, you know you don't have to you don't have to super chat. Just tuning in and some encouraging words. Uh, this has been a push goodness since March, and because of it, um, you know there's been a lot going on. So really, thank you. Uh, Halloween is less than a week away. So I kind of encourage you to to uh, take a minute and uh, enjoy Halloween like you did like a, when you were a kid and whatever that is, guys. There's nothing that can be done about the situation here, but I think we're going to do all right. Uh, I think this Halloween might have some real bonuses in other ways, and uh, we've been on this push since March, and I got to tell you guys some of the best people we have ever met have come from this crazy time. Uh, while I would not wish this on anybody, I will tell you that it's been just a tremendous blessing to, uh, to virtually meet people who have been so supportive. And we want to support you guys too. So, as this week progresses, and it may feel different, and maybe your kids can't go trick-or-treating, or you can't go to your favorite haunted house, you know what, guys? It's going to be okay. It is going to be okay. And what we're going to do is let's um, take a second and, like I said, drag out the old movies. Or um, maybe we can, you know, light the fire pit or leave a jet one somewhere. I'm not going to pretend like we're not remotely trying to figure out what we're going to do, but uh, I think good things will come of this. I'm not being a Pollyanna, neither one of us are, but I really do think it will be. So, in the meantime, uh, just a, a quick overview, we had what is our final monster camp of the year. And it is unprecedented to me that during the... Uh, craziness of this year, we would be able to do four monster games. We did one in January. We had one scheduled for April and May, which we had to move to August and September. Knock those out, and then suddenly we find out our haunted house is going to open. So we did a quick monster camp in October, which again, I don't know if this is ever going to happen. We did a quick monster camp in October, and we just finished it a few hours ago, and we're going to fall over. <laughs> but it was awesome. Uh, I have a firm belief that when people create things with their hands and they are with like-minded people and creating whatever, that there is just a tremendous amount of good that comes from it. And I mean good, uh, it's just good for you. So our hope is, is that we can do monster camps again in the future. And that we are able to uh, to do more of them so that we can kind of you know, encourage people to be creative, to make beautiful things, even if they are of a, of a dark nature, because I still think there's a place for that. And so, you know, it's kind of exciting. It's crazy, but it's exciting. So for those of you who've been with us during this craziness through March, hi! <laughs> I... Uh, Boy, thank you so much. Thank you so much for being so creative and so, so supportive. So with that, uh, Alan's going to finish this Halloween Grave Digger. I am. And the fact that we have to give it away because now I am deeply in love with it because it's awesome uh, really hurts my heart. So Scott Cohart, you're worth it. But golly, I just really want to keep this up. Anyway, happy Halloween, you guys. We'll see you some more. And there's some cool stuff coming up this week. I have no doubt that Scott will be an yeah. awesome steward. He will be a great steward. But, Halloween break. And, uh, oh, by the way, this week's YouTube Wednesday, good stuff. It's a special one. It's special. This hat is fabulous. Well, it comes with this mask. It is so good. Oh. All right, guys. I can't see what you said when I... She's going to catch up on comments, catch up, everybody. Catch up. Hey, guys. Oh, my goodness. Thank you. Steve Poulos, $50 super chat. Thank you oh. so much for the creativity boost. I am doing things over here. 
That's awesome. And Go I will make share stuff. when I'm done, when the time is right. Thank you. I love that. You That's guys. awesome. And thank you so much for the super chat. Hey, Paul Bennett, five dollars. Thank you. Jordan Muncy, fifteen dollars. Thank you. Happy Halloween, Hobbses. Thanks, guys. This is. Wow, your time is amazing. This is a Halloween we have. This is. Uh, it's a very different year, and I think we're all just trying to get through it. And. Happy Halloween. I'm jealous of the half super Halloween awesomeness. David Quintana. Hey, David. COVID has messed up everything, and I feel it, brother. It has, but it, there's good stuff will come, guys. <clears throat> and I uh, haven't really even ever thought of how, yeah, it messed up. Of course, people lost their jobs. People lost their lives. Um, and this is just such a different Halloween. It's not bad. I'm not saying it's bad. It's different. Um, for I mean, 30 years, for 30 years, the way I assigned value to myself in a major way, not the only way, but was I acted in haunted houses. And I was good at that. And it's weird to not do it. Michelle Schulte has a great idea. What's that? Alan needs to sell a couple of the custom hats for those of us who have grave digger hats already. What a great idea. Well, see, the thing is, I already have somebody on my team who makes hats, and I do not want to put my fingers in her pulley. <laughs> so she makes hats. So I, uh, I think, um, and you know what? I didn't even plan on doing that hat. It just kind of Halloween happened. Ronnie Pope says, I'm jealous of Scott's mask. Melanie, Melanie Baines, haunted ZZ Top mask. Rob O'Brien says, wow, 205 people are watching. Uh, these people care about, more about Halloween than they do their country, says, yet, 23556. Vanita, Dusty Green, Alan, I enjoyed watching all your, watching you do all the characters that you do. Oh, you're welcome, Michelle. You're, I'm glad you like the pictures. Uh, Ian J. In Outdoors Hallow Adventures will post pictures of my statue when it's done. Your Facebook mod page's styrofoam head will be protecting it from will we'll protect it from spray paint. Hang in there. You're doing great videos and things will get better. Thanks. Love you too, Line Cook. It's all right, Baba Daz. It's going to be okay. Love you guys, Rob. Love you. Love you, Rodney Pope, and the Still Peace mascot. It's these dogs. Uh, Courtney Pepino, can they still trick or treat in Texas? Yes. We have a few home haunts there here in New York with COVID restriction. Yes, Courtney, uh, we can still trick or treat in Texas, uh, but just like everything, they're try they're saying be careful and be creative and stay distant. So yes, Line Cook says, love Halloween, love your family and friends. Oh, I answered that with the good things that are going to come of this. Uh, JLR, thank you. You're, thank you so much for the job. You really love the job. I love this committee. It's so positive. Cool, the highest compliment I can give you is you're a monster. Good night. <laughs> <laughs> Amy Watkins, I'm blessed to have you guys. Hey, Amy. This is your turn to do it. Thank you, Amy. Thank you so much. Courtney Pepino, watch all the they were awesome. They were fun. Dixie Deaver, thanks to all, thanks to y'all, we were able to learn new skills and put out a drive by for our neighborhood. Oh, it's awesome. That is amazing. That's what I love to hear. There you go. I will, Jeremiah. He says, give you a hug. I'm gonna give him a hug. Ray Mitchell. Hey, guy. Howdy. You guys are awesome. Thanks so much. I've learned a lot. Happy Halloween. Uh, will you add a gravestone to the hat? Yes. <laughs> I guess so. I always add a gravestone to the gravedigger hats. Awkward pause. My boyfriend and I have been working on costumes and decorating on zero budget. It's definitely been taking our minds off the craziness that's going on. That is awesome. awesome awkward pause. That's what you Thank do. You. Yeah. Amy Watkins, thank you so much. $25 for oh. Super Chat. You are so sweet, Amy. Amy used Monster Camp 6, and she made the most beautiful 
Uh, Frankenstein classic. Oh, Frankenstein's yeah. Frankenstein's monster, and it was a beauty. Steve Poulos says, guys, you don't even know what you've done for me. You've got me out of my work cubicle. <laughs> You're welcome. So what I am doing now is I am I'm making an elastic strap that will go around the actor's neck. Um, and it's plenty big because uh, Scott's a big guy like me. I have a 21 inch neck. So this isn't even like stretching, you know. So. Oh, Amy Watkins, what a, you're so sweet. Thank you so much. What a pleasure. Uh, Vicky Comedia says, Woo, I made it. Hope everyone has had a good night. Mary yes. C. I have had to hang out alone since May. I have had some asthma issues that cannot get COVID. Uh, I found your live channel. It makes me feel not so alone. So thank you so much. You're a fan from life. Awesome. Thank you. I've tried to be live as much as I can. Um, it, this has been very important for us, too, you know. Michelle Schultz says, not to mention that thanks to you guys, we have a special place to bounce off ideas. That's true. Seek out others. And if you guys are not on the Still Beast Live Creepers group on Facebook, listen. Facebook is a line a landmine of garbage and sadness and just weird. Um, but there's good pockets in it. And I think that the Still Beast Live Creepers group, because I want to see your work. You guys get to hop on and see what I'm doing all the time. I want to see what you guys make. And uh, the Creepers group lets us do that. So you guys can join uh, the question. There's an entry question to stop spam bots. Uh, the entry question is, how does Alan test his heat gun with his hand? I always shoot the heat gun at my hand to see if it's hot. So that's the question. And uh, yeah, so I want to see what you guys are making. If there's, if there's good, if there's positive, let's see that. Awesome. Hey, bud. Facebook is also is way better than Latex Mass Central. Well, I'm I'm on Latex Mass Central. I mean, I'm a mod, so. Tony Kovacs is watching Alan get emotional. It's making me emotional. It's been a weird year, but we'll make it surely, and I'm sure everybody will absolutely be making up for lost time. Yeah, I'm I'm sorry about that, guys. You don't need that from me. Um. We have made 53,000 subscribers, which is awesome. But it also means we're going to get some stinkers. Yes. And guys, it, we're just we're going to get some stinkers. We're going to try and keep on top of it. Yeah. And it may it may make things difficult at times to keep on top of the comments and to be able to control the trolls that are just you know. Do we have a pooper on now. Yeah, we've got some poopers. I've got them. Yeah, okay. Don't worry about it. Got them. I'm going to build him a, a little necktie thing here. Normally they get a cravat, and I thought I would do something different. And uh, as has been said, festive. things that we can't control in the world, um, you know, we just can't control it. And uh, we can't control our attitudes. And we can choose uh, how we treat others. And I think that is something that we can focus on. You guys, we do have other moderators, but right now... Uh, right now, she's it. I I'm think. it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we, we, it's okay. Yeah, uh, one of our moderators I know is working a haunted house. The other moderator, you know... Uh, tis the season for that it's kind all right. of stuff. It's okay, and we're not going to be on for much longer. It's, like it's 15 till 11. We're going to finish this up, and then we've got to yes. get some rest. So it'll be okay. Thank you uh, for being so protective. Y'all are wonderful. Let me just kind of sit here. Paul Bennett says your shirt is on point. <laughs> yes.
Good night, Rodolfo. He says, my highest compliment I could give you is that you're a monster. Thanks. That is awesome. Uh, Rob, we might need a couple more moderators as we grow. Um, we have had a mighty push. It's very exciting, but... Um, With you it, know, it comes some we'll poopy see. people. It, it's, there's going to be some stinkers. It's okay. Michael, hey. I'll make a page eventually and reactivate my Facebook page to show off all the statues I've made because of what you have taught me. And you are improved my life with your videos. Words can't describe. Thank you, Mike. Um, I'm glad I was able to help in some small way. Celeste Kitty says, I would modify for you guys my band hammer skills or one point. <laughs> <laughs> Urban Molnar, hey, thank you so much for all you do. Hey, you make great masks. I remember seeing your masks, and they were really awesome and fun. I don't think I ever started making masks. It wasn't for you. Jordan. Jordan just gave us $10. Jordan Bensey. I teared up and realized I'm very lucky I am. I'm still scared this season. Yes, you are. I gave you a hug, but it's from a distance. Jordan, you keep on going, buddy. You're doing awesome work, and you look amazing. And I enjoy seeing your posts. K and T do Halloween just super chatted us $50. Oh. Guys. Guys, you're too much. Thank you, boys. Y'all are so sweet. Uh, Bubba does it. Hey, okay, Alan, personally, it helps me because I've been pretty emotional and feeling pretty vulnerable. Nice to know that everyone is human and we all feel stuff. Just so. Alan said, Alan Rusman says, 50,000 subscribers and about to hit 5 million views. Congratulations and thank you. Yeah, we hit 5 million views earlier today, yes, um, it, it's good, uh, things are, that, that, that end of things, it's good. Now I'm going to lose, you know, two or 3,000 subscribers because there are people who are, and don't take this wrong, they're Halloween tourists, uh, it's getting to be Halloween, let's do Halloween stuff, and then there's people who, you know, they think Halloween is cool year round, it's always in their, on their brain, and uh, I'm going to keep some of them. So, uh, that's cool. Let me, a little more decor on this. Zero pence. I'm in the UK and I have just found you and have watched you most of this week. Thank you for some great comment. Finny 2.0, I'm always lurking. I think I discovered your channel in March. It seemed as though you all knew each other, so I felt kind of weird to say hi. But I will start. You truly have a great community. See, here's the thing, all right? Um, it does seem like we all kind of know each other, but what it is, it's just that I want us to be as welcoming as possible. And I think that people pick up on the energy that you you put out, and uh, I feel like our group is pretty darn welcoming. You know, that's what I want it to be. So. Big ingredient. I have a corner room in my tattoo shop. I do sculpting only. When there is downtime. Yesterday, That's a awesome. client asked to look at one I was working on. And, yep, crashed to the floor. I'm out five hours. <laughs> uh, Sorry Alan, about that. Alan, me and my boys are three. Me and my three boys are going to build our own bucket buddies this weekend. That's awesome. Good ideas. I hear a lot about that, that that is a, a nice family project. And I love that. Tano says, a planet of playthings, we dance on the strings of powers we cannot perceive. The stars aren't aligned or the gods are maligned. Blame it better to give than receive. That's lovely. Uh, Michelle says, congratulations. Thank and, you. Uh, Lisa says, Halloween is life. Jordan Bunsey says, it goes without saying, you've clearly made a difference in my life. We love you guys. Uh, let's see. Scott Fulmer, keep up the great job, Alan. Your videos are the best. I learned so much. Thank you. Enigma says, we are all creators, so we are all mesh. Uh, makes me mad to see already Christmas displays in stores and houses and people have not given a chance, a chance to mourn Halloween yet. Let them have their happy. There's no reason for us to mourn Halloween. Halloween isn't dead. Halloween is going to come around again. Halloween is your favorite aunt and uncle that visit. <laughs> um, Steve says, it's not Halloween for me. You're so creative. I'm here for the long run. Michael Chizorowski, you're both 
help a lot of people. I just want to thank you. Thank you, Michael. It's very kind. Thank you. Gina Tanner, this Halloween may be different for you, but you are still a huge part of the home haunter. There is a lot of you in my haunts and many others. Your tips and tricks are far-reaching. Thank you, Gina. John Royski, my local stores look most of their Halloween stuff down at the beginning of October to put up their Christmas stuff. It's a seasonal thing, guys. This is business. Alan Roosman says, Halloween tourists. That is so accurate. I make costumes and props year-round, and people always tell me it can be fun to be able to dress up all year. You can't. This is a year of masks for everyone. This is true. Baba Dawson is the most welcoming, positive community. Halloween is definitely a lifestyle of mine. Celeste Kitty says, we aren't even stuffed a turkey yet. They're throwing up Christmas. It's okay, guys. It's okay. Michelle says, I will be taking some pics of the pumpkins my grand bitty booze did this weekend after seeing some of your pics. I know pics are awesome. They're doing the great pumpkin party. That's awesome. Wonderful. Um, a lot of people need Christmas, too. And they need it to rush to us so that they can have a little warmth. I don't think that them having warmth is going to uh, take it away from us. What phone do you recommend for a latex mask? Uh, I like Flex Foam at 3 or um, Polygem three, uh, F3, which is a flexible 3-pound foam. Paul Bennett says, where is the wife of the grave digger? Alan's prepped up for a big dead wedding. Oh, that's fun. That's a fun <laughs> idea. That's a great idea. Paul, what a great idea. I really like that job. Paul. That is a fun idea. That is a Paul, great idea. that's a great idea. I love the wife of the grave oh, digger. Oh, that's fun. Uh, it says, Halloween is the best holiday of all times. The only time you can put a mask on and knock on a stranger's, random stranger's door, you can remember to give you something and you don't go to jail. Yeah. Hey, Chad Smith. Chad Smith, I sold a mask today. I'm so proud of you, Bob. That That's awesome. Thanks to you. You've helped me shape me into a mask maker. I am and helped to give me the confidence to pursue selling them. Thanks, Matt. That is great. Chad, I congratulations. That. That's awesome. That's great. Great job, Chad. That's a lot. So we are making a tombstone for the hat, guys. Yes, this is this is what I'm doing right now. It's such a good idea. It is such a good idea. We have 200 people watching. We've gone for two hours. Uh, hey, Evan says, hopefully one day I can visit the monster, the master monster maker. We would love that, Evan. That would be great. Anthony says, besides masks, do you play music in your spare time, like guitar and such? I don't. I don't have any musical talent whatsoever. You can sing. Uh, I sing poorly. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I, I become overwhelmed with song, and I, I think I just handle musically different than, music different than people. Um, I don't like listen to a lot of music, but I sing a lot. Baba Daza says, <laughs> Oh my god, a tiny tombstone, that's so cute. It is kind of cute. I'm going to make it a little shorter, just so it doesn't cover up it as much. Thank you, media. All these political rallies on both sides with thousands of non mass people and the same people that they have the rallies saying Halloween's unsafe. I, you know, it's okay. We're just going to get through it. I'm, uh, you know what? I'm not going to really judge the actions of others. <clears throat> All that I think I can do is be a good example. Ian J. Outdoor Adventures. I love learning so that drew me here. Starting a load lock type foam mask. I like trying new things. And it's cool that people like you share your knowledge, and that's why I love you too. Awesome. I'm, I'm so glad. Thank you so much. Rob O'Brien, we haven't heard from Realms. My guess is I think he was supposed to be putting together a, a haunt display. He's probably working his haunt. So he's probably busting tail. Z says, hello from Indiana. Hello. Enjoy watching your videos. Awesome. Thank you so much. Jody Cardinal, I work in a parking. Halloween is our third base night, but I made a deal with my boss if I work every holiday, if you want me to, but give me Halloween off from my haunt. Great <laughs> job, <Jimmy. laughs> That's awesome. That's a lot of that's a lot of dedication. 
All right, I have to find a Halloween light. I know I have one here. That is the black light. Is the gravestone made out of foam? Yes, it is EVA foam. If you back up two minutes, you'll see me make it. Um, give me a second, but look at that character back there. I'm gonna try and find a, a UV light that I know I have. Celeste Kitty says, I can't do the drinking game when you drink when Alan sings. Three tequila shots killed me at the barbecue yesterday. Yeah. Alan says, I made a motion trigger like the one on your video. It works amazingly. I awesome. had it plugged into a sawzall and I clamped the blade to my garage door. It makes a lot of noise. Oh, I bet it does. That's fun. Hello, Dustin Smothers from the Bluegrass State. Hello. That's Kentucky, right? Should be Kentucky. Oh, for God's sake. See, Papa Pennywise says, I fixed two masks uh, for our haunt because you taught me how. Thank you. That's awesome. Nice work with this one, Alan. I've been watching for years. No plans on stopping now. I appreciate and thank you for the inspiration and like-mindedness. That's Al Maltra. Oh, Al, thank you. Al, I wish I had your talent tonight when I was doing this painting. Um, Al is an incredible artist and does really good work. So, guys, I can't find the, uh, the black light that I had. Uh, things get arranged and clean for Monster Camp. Ooh, Celeste Kitty says the Grave Digger needs a walking stick and a glowing scary jack-o'-lantern on top. What a beautiful visual. Yeah. And a long be, coat and tails. That'd be really awesome. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah, I I, I, I'm afraid I don't have a UV light right here. I wish I did. Uh, I did once, but then, you know, things happen. <laughs> Monster Camp happens. I clean. All right. So guys, uh, I can't show this to you in UV, but the orange is UV and the black, of course, would stop the UV from coming through. So he, um, I'm gonna put it on. You mind if I put it on? I don't mind if you put it on. Are you gonna get, are you gonna get paint on you? No, it's all dry. I like putting masks on. Sato K says, seeing all the Monster Camp stuff makes me jealous. Come see us, Masato. Another excellent artist. I am blessed with many excellent artists. Anthony Matano, yes, it's true. You can carry a sword in Texas. Uh, let's see. Good night, Paul. Paul's heading, heading to sleep. Good night, Paul. Steve Coolish, your new creation is amazing. I learned so much. Steve, thank you so much for tuning in tonight and your contribution. Uh, wonderful timing you have, Steve. Thank you so much. Urban says, every time I do a sculpt, I always have your channel to inspire me. Great monster camp once again. Very talented students. Thank you, Urban. They did an awesome job. Yes. We're very proud of them. Over here. Check out uh, Spider. No, uh, Velcro. Yeah. Okay. Thanks again for keeping us inspired and looking forward. Alan, maybe next year you can always look at look at it year round. Good night, happy. Good night, Fred. Great and accessories, so cool. Love the hair, paint job, complimenting the mask. Scott, this looks awesome. Such a cool digger. Colors are fantastic, Alan, says Amy Watkins. Monster Camp 6. Lucky Scott, says Lisa. <laughs> Grave Digger looks amazing, says DJ Moore. Scott Gillis says, wow. Rodney Pope says, will you be making more like this? Check D's. Alan, you make some 
You make some episode episode stuff, man. Reminds me of the penguin and Batman. Thumbs up. This is awesome. Nice work. Looks great. That's great. All right, everybody. Great. Awesome. Amazing. Dope. <laughs> Just stunning. Can never ever thank you and Alan enough. I feel like creepers have ready. Thank you guys. Okay. Great. So guys, thank you for hanging out with us tonight. Um, bit of a crazy night. Um, thank you. I appreciate it. You guys are amazing. If you don't join me again until Halloween, then I say happy Halloween to you. Me and the wife do. Find a way to celebrate. Make new traditions. It's a different Halloween. Um, Wife, say good night. Good night, homies. <laughs> Lit jack-o'-lanterns to all, and happy Halloween. Go make stuff. Good night. <laughs>